in this tutorial we are going to find a solution to these eight problems and there are different of ways for which we can find their solutions if you observe they are all algebraic equations that contain fractions so i will try as much as i can to use most of these methods so let's start with the first one the first one you can see we have x plus 2 divided by 3 and to the right we have 4 so the very first method I want to use is by relating the numerators and denominators. And hence, I can rationalize the right-hand side by dividing it by 1. You know, dividing any value by 1 will not change the value. So you can see from the left-hand side, we have our denominator to be 3. And to the right-hand side, we have our denominator to be 1. But we want to ensure that they are all the same. And how can we do that? By multiplying the right-hand side by 3, divide by 3. You know, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. It's just like multiplying 4 by 1, which is the same thing as 4. So now you can see if we multiply 1 by 3, it will give us 3. That is our main target, having 3 equal to 3. So if the denominators are the same, we can now say the numerators are also the same. Therefore, x plus 2 must be equal to, uh, this is 4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 12. So we have 12. So what do we do next? We are going to take this positive 2 and take it to the right. And it is going to become negative. So we say x equal to 12 minus 2. And finally x equal to 10. So the value of x is equal to 10. But we have to confirm. We are going to test it from the left hand side if it is exactly equal to the right hand side that means we are right okay if x is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 is 12 divided by 3 equal to 4 yes therefore the real value of x is equal to 10 so now let us move on to the next one you can see the next one we have x minus 6 divide by 3 and to the right we have 2 i want to use the same method this is divide by 1 now we can now say x minus 6 divide by 3 is equal to uh, 2 multiplied by 3 divide by 1 multiplied by 3 our main target is to ensure that we have 3 on the denominator because you can see we have 3 to the left if you simplify you have this is equal to 3 so we can now say the numerators are the same as well x minus 6 must be equal to 6 now let us take negative 6 to the right it becomes positive so we have x equal to 6 plus 6 and finally x is equal to 12 this means that in this second problem, the real value of x is equal to 12. You can test it in the main equation. You can see if x is 12, 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. And the 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And hence, this is true. Now let us move on to the third one. The third one, you can see we have 2 minus 3x divide by 4 and to the right hand side we have 5 now i want to use the method of cross multiplication so let us rationalize the right hand side cross multiplication means we are going to take these terms and multiply by this term and the 2 minus 3x multiplied by 1 will not change the value so we have 2 minus 3x this is equal to we are not going to take 4 and multiply it by 5 which is equal to 20 now we are going to collect the like terms we are going to take positive 2 to the right and it is going to become negative so we have minus 3x to the left and to the right we have 20 minus 2 minus 3x will be equal to 18 because 20 minus 2 is 18 we are looking for the value of x 
Therefore, we are going to divide both sides by this coefficient of x, which is negative 3. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. This will cancel this, leaving only x to the left. We have x to be equal to negative 6. Because 18 divided by 3 is 6, but this is negative 3, not positive 3. And hence, the value of x is negative 6. You can test it for yourself. Let us move on to the next one. So the d part, we have 4x divided by 3 equals 7 divided by 6 minus 5x divided by 2. Now the method I want to use here is by clearing of fractions. And how do we do that? We can now multiply each term by the LCM of the denominators. And you can see the denominators are 3, 6, and 2. And the LCM is going to be 6. Because 6 is the only smaller number which all these three values can go into without remainder. So what do we do? We are going to multiply both sides by the 6. And this 6 is going to affect each term. So from the left, we have 6 multiplied by 4x divided by 3. This is equal to 6 multiplied by 7 divided by 6 minus 6 multiplied by 5x divided by 2. Let's simplify. You can see from the left, 3 into 3 is 1 and 3 into 6 is 2. 6 into 6 is 1 and 6 into 6 is 1. 2 into 2 is 1 and 2 into negative 6 is negative 3. Let us use these values to expand. We have 2 here. We are going to use it to distribute over this parenthesis. 2 multiplied by 4x is 8x. This is equal to 6 cancel. We only have 7 here. And we have negative 3 multiplied by positive 5x is going to give us negative 15x. Collect the like terms. If you take this one back, what? It becomes positive. So we have 8x plus 15x. To the right, we have only 7. 8x plus 15x is equal to 23 x and this is equal to 7 remember we are looking for x so what do we do next we divide both sides by 23 which is the coefficient of x so 23 cancel 23 we have only x equals 7 divided by 23 and hence this is our solution to this problem so now let us move on to the e part the e part we have x plus 7 divided by 6 plus 1 over 2 equals x minus 2 divided by 4 the same thing i want to clear the fractions i think is better by multiplying both sides by the lcm and the lcm this time around is going to be 12 because 12 is the only smaller number which 6, 2, and 4 can go into without remainder. So here I have 12 in bracket of x plus 7 divided by 6 plus 12 multiplied by 1 is still 12. We have divided by 2 and this is equal to 12 multiplied by x minus 2 divided by 4. Let us simplify. We know that 6 can go into 6 one time and 6 can go into 12 two times. So let us use this 2 to distribute. 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 7 is 14. Then we have plus. 2 divided by 12 is 6. This is equal to 4 can go into 4 one time and 4 can go into 12 three times. We are going to use this 3 to distribute. 3 multiplied by x is 3x. 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6. Let us bring all those with x to the left and those constant to the right. We have 2x here. We have 3x to the right. So we have 2x 
if 3x come backward it becomes negative 3x which is equal to we already have negative 6 to the right we have positive 14 to the left crossing over it becomes negative 14 we have positive 6 to the left crossing over it becomes negative 6 let us further simplify 2x minus 3x is negative x this is equal to minus 6 minus 14 is minus 20 minus 20 minus 6 is minus 26 what do we do next we divide both sides by negative 1 and hence x is equal to 26 positive so if you simplify the whole of this expression the value of x will be equal to positive 26 now let us move on to the f part the f part we have 1 over 4 in bracket we have x plus 1 this is equal to x divided by 2 plus 3 the same thing i think clearing fractions is always the best so let us take the whole of this and multiply by the lcm we only have two fractions one over four and x over two and the lcm is four so we are going to multiply by four if you multiply four by this we have one because one times four is four and four divided by four is equal to one so from the left hand side we only have this parenthesis x plus one to the right if you take four you multiply by x you get 4x and that 4x uh, divided by 2 you're going to get 2x plus 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12 so we have 12 here let us further simplify bring all those x to the left and those constant to the right we have x minus 2x if positive 2x crosses backward this is equal to 12 which we already have then positive 1 crossing over it becomes negative 1 this is negative x because x minus 2x is negative x to the right we have positive 11 if you divide both sides by negative 1 you have x equal to negative 11 and hence negative 11 is the real value of x in this algebraic equation now let us move on to the g part second to last problem the g part we have 2 over 5 bracket 3x minus 1 equals 4 minus 1 over 2 x plus 2 we can multiply both sides by the lcm as well i think it's always the best but if you like you can distribute and expand the brackets the lcm of 5 and 2 is 10 so we're going to multiply by 10. so to the left if you multiply 10 by 2 you get 20 and 20 divided by 5 is 4 so we have 4 3x minus 1 this is equal to 4 multiplied by 10 is 40 minus 1 multiplied by 10 is 10 divided by 2 is 5 we have x plus 2 so we have now clear the fraction let us distribute we have 4 multiplied by 3x is 12x minus 4 times 1 is 4 this is equal to 40 then negative 5 multiplied by x is negative 5x then negative 5 times positive 2 is negative 10. Collect the like times all those with x to the left. We already have 12x here. And we have this one crossing over. It becomes positive 5x. To the right we have 40 minus 10. If negative 4 crosses over it becomes positive 4. So we have 12x plus 5x is 17x. To the right we have 40 minus 10 is 30. And 30 plus 4 is 34. 
divide both sides by the coefficient of x to get the value of x we have to divide both sides by 17 and to the left we have only x and to the right we have 2 because 17 can go into 34 two times and hence the value of x in this g problem is equal to 2 now let us move on to the last one so the h part we have 1 over 3 equals 2 over x minus 1 over 6 this time around i want to do another different method let me first of all simplify the right hand side keeping 1 over 3 constant and this is equal to I want to get the LCM between x and 6 which is going to be 6x how many times can x go into 6x it can go there 6 times and that's 6 multiplied by 2 we have 12 so this is equal to 12 then you drop the sign negative sign then how many times can 6 go into 6x it can go there x times and that x multiplied by 1 is still x. So this is what we have. Now we can cross multiply. Cross multiply in the sense that we are going to take 1 and multiply by 6x. Which is the same thing as 6x to the left. And to the right we are going to take 3 and multiply by 12 minus x. 3 multiplied by 12 minus x. To the left we have 6x and to the right we have we have 3 multiplied by 12 which is 36 minus 3 multiplied by x is 3x. Bringing negative 3x backward it becomes positive. We have 6x to the left plus 3x and to the right we have only 36. 6 plus 3, you know, is 9. So we have 9x here. And to the right, we have 36. What do you do next? We're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x. 9 cancel 9 to the left, we have only x. And to the right, we have 36 divided by 9, which is equal to 4. And hence, the real value of x in this last problem is equal to 4. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.